Hi, I'm Russ Hughes and I've been asked by Presonus to talk to you about Faderport 8, which is their new control service, which has native control of Studio One, but the great thing is it also has control of other DAWs using the Huey and the MCU protocols. Now I'm particularly going to talk today about using it with Pro Tools and how it can work closely with it using Huey to control all sorts of features. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how we set it up and then I'm going to show you some of the features that are possible. Now the first thing we need to do is set up the fader port hardware. So we turn it on while pressing down the select buttons on channels one and two. Press the power switch, then you'll be presented with a menu of three items. Select Huey, which is the third one, and press the select button on channel eight. Now we go into Pro Tools and we go to Peripherals, MIDI Controllers, choose Huey, Receive From, and in the list it will say Fader Port 8 or Presonus FP8. Choose that to From and Send and the eight channels is preset for you. And that's it. We're ready to go and use it with Pro Tools. So here we are in Pro Tools and we have the Fader Port 8 connected as I've already shown you earlier on in the video. And I want to go over the features now. So we have the transport section here. We have the automation section here. We have the different features that we can use the, the knob and the, the previous and next for. And we obviously have the faders and other stuff we'll look at. So what I want to do first is, is show you the transport section. So as I say, we have a stop, start button. Then we have return to zero. Can fast forward as well through the track, as you can see there. We've also got the loop button as well. So we, as you can see there, the transport is going into, into loop mode as well. So. That's return to zero. Then we've got a record button. Now, obviously, that's not going to work at the moment because there's no tracks. So we've got to make sure we have an input before we do anything. And we'll say, uh, I don't know, for example, we'll go for bus five as the input. Uh, and then we can, as long as it's got a valid input, then we can, of course, arm it like a regular track. And then we can put record on and hit record. The click's on. If we go to the other page on Pro Tools, see we're recording on that track now. The next thing we can do as well is things like we can do solos and mutes. We can solo clear. Same with the mutes. We can mute clear. And the next thing we could do, of course, is mix the track. So if we go to track mode there, now that's showing me my faders for the track. As you can see, they're going up and down both sides. And, and I can obviously mix on the fly. Now there's a delay here. So I'd like to use that track, and I'd like to use that track so I can show you the automation working. And the delay is actually a recorded track of audio. So we can use that to record automation, but we'll do that in a moment, because what I'd like to show you next is the pans. And the pans can work in two ways. We can, we can do it here. Just select that track there and start moving the pan. Or if you prefer, we come to pans here and we can use the pans like that, which is really nice. We can use the faders and it's a much quicker way of getting the, the pans done. And also we've got sends and if you go to the sends here, we just choose a send, there's send A, and we can, you see the sends are changing there. So for example, we come down to this ARP down here which is here. We could just play that for a second. Let's solo that. The next thing you can do, of course, with the Fader Port 8 as well, is automation. To record automation, it's pretty straightforward. We just choose the channel that we want to do automation on. It's, de it's the delay here. I put it into write mode. In the Pro Tools, you see it goes into write. When I've finished, back into read mode. Let's go back to the edit page so you can now see that. And we're going to open up the channels. And we're going to drop down the 
controller channel and you can see there, there is the automation we've just put in. Let's go back to the beginning. And as you can see, the mixer's following that. Now the great thing, it also has things like the trim feature and the touch feature and the latch feature as well. So we could go back through if we wanted to, go to touch mode on there and just, just edit that a bit. And there we are, and we've re-edited that. And the trim mode means that we can go to trim mode and we can just push all of the automation up or down a bit using the trim. And you can see that's denoted by that blue line underneath here on the screen as well. The other things I wanted to show you on the edit page is we've got the click track here. We can turn it on and off, straightforward as that. The other thing I want to show you as well is a few other things. We go to zoom mode, we can make the track larger or smaller. There we go, zooming in and out. We can also drop markers, locators, and it's as straightforward as playing it. Go to marker mode, hit the marker, we can type the name in just hit return on our keyboard instead but as I say we can just drop them like that and they just drop in on the fly it's a nice feature as well so as you can see using it with Pro Tools is not only powerful but it's pretty straightforward as well you could use it without even reading the manual uh, which is very nice so that's Faderport 8 using it with Pro Tools thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon